Hello, and here we go again. Back in the olden days of 2009, Bioware released Dragon Age Origins, a brand new IP in the style of classic CRPGs like Baldur's Gate and Icewind Dale, but set in a completely original dark fantasy world. Since then, Bioware has run it into the ground by getting rid of what made it fun, the old school feel, the challenging combat, the grim dark setting, and the series has suffered since. Dragon Age 2, when it came out, was a huge letdown. Instead of creating your own unique character, perhaps in a different flavour than human, you were locked into playing as either the male or female Hawk, tasked with getting your family to safety amid the events of Dragon Age Origins. What followed was a linear trudge through various maps where you got to fight a wave of enemies before a second wave of enemies attacked, then a boss who was usually somebody you either helped or failed to help earlier in the game. Every single time. I was so bored after finishing the game that I didn't even bother with the DLC, so when Corypheus turned up as a big reveal villain in Dragon Age Inquisition, I had no idea who he was until I looked him up. Inquisition at least let you pick your own race and character, but it was a huge open world mess that betrayed its MMO origins at every turn. I finished the game, but it was an effort as I found the combat way too arcadey and the companions cold and unsympathetic. And now we have the upcoming Veil Guard. Hopes weren't high as it was, what with lead writer Patrick Weeks declaring that the nasty, icky blood magic would no longer be usable by the player because it's the key to a lot of nasty stuff we aren't interested in having heroes do. Yes, he looks exactly the sort of person that would say something like that. The reveal trailer was underwhelming, what with the Fortnite style graphics and the ugly character designs. But don't worry, the hair is now ultra realistic. As if anyone gives a shit about hair physics other than 12 year old girls. Also, every companion is pansexual now for some reason. Not sure why this needs to be a thing. Romance options in RPGs have always been cringe, and to the detriment of the story usually. Baldur's Gate 3 kind of got it right I suppose, but I could have easily done without it being in the game. Pre-order sales for Veilguard have been described as piss poor, which is hilarious in its brutal honesty. I can't say I'm surprised. When it inevitably flops, which it will, the usual suspects will blame bigots or toxic fans or anyone but the culprits, who are the modern AAA dev teams and their inability to make good video games that people enjoy playing. Bioware may be going the way of Ubisoft soon, which is great news for gaming and entertainment at large. Bye then.